Well, hello, friends. Um, today, we are going to work a little bit on the terminal application. So I would like it to show bold text in bold when we tell it to. Um, so for instance, if you go to slash here, then um, I think these are actually supposed to be bold. It's just that we are ignoring the attribute. Um, but let me double check that actually. I feel like we are emitting, yeah, so this is the bold attribute right here. So you do the escape character, um, and then a bracket, and then you can say some foreground color, and then if you do the 1M, um, or if you send it, if you include a 1 here, that means that we should flip on the bold attribute. So we are definitely flipping on the bold attribute for these. Um, this is the directory color right here, 34. Um, but they're not showing up in a bold font. Um, so I figured we would try to do that because we have a bold fixed width font, which is not using it. Um, so let's look at how the M escape sequence is implemented here in the terminal. Um, and I see that we have some whining here about what's this? Do not use else after return. Well, I agree with that, but I'm, I'm not going to tweak that right now because I'm, I'm on a mission here. Uh, okay, so um, the way that the terminal interprets escape sequences is that you get one of these callbacks, like here's one for escape sequences that end in M. Uh, you get called with, this is the just a vector of int, basically, that contain all of the numbers that were passed to it. So it will have, in this case, it will have like 34 and then 1. Um, so we just iterate through them here. Um, and as you can see, first we hit this one where we set the foreground color. And we also hit one where we set the attribute to bold, the current attribute. So the current attribute is um, sort of the stored little thing that remembers whenever we print out a new character on the terminal, what should it look like? Like what color, what attribute should it have? So um, we store this fact that it is old, but then it seems like we never use that anywhere. Um, so we set it here, turn it off here. Hmm, is that right? 22? I don't recall. I don't recall using that. So let me try it here in Linux. Um, bold text. Uh, 22M, not so bold text. And then let's reset. Reset. Okay, that, that, that did work. <clears throat> so 22 turns off the bold. That's good. Let's try italic too. Oh, italic. Well, <laughs> I guess it's not italic here either, but uh, well, whatever. Now we're going to focus on bold. So um, what we want to do, I guess, is in the paint code, Mm, paint event. When we go to paint, um, the way the paint code works is that we just look at all the lines. And try to da, 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 iterate over the lines and then figure out uh, if it has only one background color, then we can fill rect with the background color. Uh, and then for each column, then we iterate through them. And where do we pump out the character? Here. Right. So, it's a chunky call here. Let's try to break it up into a few more lines. Draw a glyph. I guess Droglyph doesn't have a way to pass a font. No, it does. We can pass a font. Okay. 
So we could just pass a font to him. I guess it's this argument. So um, well, I guess we'll say, um, what is that? Here's the attribute. Flags mm. and default. We don't have a default old fixed width font. We should we should have one. Um, so uh, let's see. I'm just gonna tweak this so that we have a default. Let's see, this code is confusing here, so uh, we can just give some easy, simple names to these. Um, font and font default bold fixed with font. And I think it's chilla bold, um, but I don't I don't remember. I have to see what what are the fonts called that we have. Um, it's Chilla Thin and Chilla Bold. Chilla is the name of my cat. <laughs> um, Chilla, and she's a very good cat, and the font is named after her. Um, so. Let's try this, okay. Now we have a way to get a default old fixed font. Because previously we, you could get a default font and a default bold font, but um, for the fixed width font, there was only the default fixed width font. This is of course like, it's not perfect. Um, we, it would be better if we had a way for the, um, for the GUI library to sort of uh, decide like which bold font is the corresponding bold font for another font and stuff like that. But we don't have any mechanisms like that. Um, I think the font format has a bold flag. Maybe font file header type. Maybe they don't. Huh? Yeah, okay, I'm wrong about that. It doesn't have, um, it just it just knows it's bold in the name. Um, and font file format in, in Serenity is completely custom. So it's just a um, very simple bitmap format that starts with this magical sequence here. Um, and uh, it's the only font format that we support. I don't know what happened here. Uh, we'll start over. I don't have any big changes, right? No. Okay. Well, they're not showing up as bold. Wonder why that is. Uh, oh well, well, we'll figure this out. So we can say if attribute flags bold. Um, we'll say this. All right, just uh, this font. Oh, no, attribute and bold. Debug. Using bold font. Oh, oh, I see the problem. <laughs> I didn't actually type bold here. It's 
So I hope <clears throat> that this will just be a case of uh, filling in the tiny little missing component and we'll have a working solution. That would be nice. Wow, look at that. It's already very bold here. Uh, okay, let's go to slash. And look at those beautiful bold letters. That's pretty cool. That is pretty, pretty cool. Um, I like it. Seems like we have a bug here, but that's not what we're going to work on today. Uh, it's very neat. So now it respects the boldness of the font. I was thinking, like, do we have anything else that will emit a bunch of bold stuff? I guess we don't really, but um, this is fine. So this will be a tiny little patch. So let's uh, progress to patch review. Oop. Okay, so here we're just moving some header automatically. So ignore that. Here I broke this up into multiple lines because it was unbearably long. <laughs> um, and then also now we pass in the, um, the default bold fixed with font if the bold attribute is set. So this won't be perfect if you're using a different alternate font, but we don't have a way to go from the alternate font to a corresponding bold font right now. So this is sort of the best that we can do. And then this change here looks very unrelated. I don't like that. So, um, I mean, it's just a white space fix, but I think that it's not right to <clears throat> uh, change unrelated uh, white space like that, even though I would like to. Um, it makes the, makes the patch a little bit harder to understand. These things, like, these things are complete no-brainers, uh, and I think that it's okay to do uh, these, but at the same time, the patch looks even better if you don't do it, so... Uh, yeah, patch aesthetics, very, very important to me. Uh, I love the look of a good patch with all the white space right and and as small changes as possible and very tight and nice. It's, um, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, so here is, we're adding the um, declaration of a default bold fixed with font. And here's the implementation where we just um, get this font if we haven't loaded it already. And then um, return it. Of course, the, the, the the good thing about the design of these fonts, the, the way that I wanted them to be, is that uh, they can be memory mapped by all processes and they don't have to change anything in memory. So you just memory map the font and you have it laid out in memory just the way you want it for, uh, for rendering. That's like, the, that's like the one good feature about them. So let's commit this. Terminal. Or actually, let's do the um, lib draw. Lib draw add default font default fixed width font. It um we we um. We need a way to get uh, a bold version default with font. And then we also say plop, terminal. Um, render paint on bold characters. Uh, bold text with uh, render bold text. No, not render. Paint. Paint is nicer. I don't know why I don't. I don't love the word render in this context. Uh, paint bold text with um, bold font. This was uh, really straightforward <laughs> since all the Necessary pieces are uh, already in place. This patch just 
passes a mobile font to draw glyphs. Our characters with uh, bold attribute for cells with bold attributes. Cool. Let's pushy push and let's see it one more time. Some days you get the fixes for free, which is very nice. As other times it takes a long time. But this one was very easy. So here we go. Bold text in a terminal. Pretty cool. Um, I think that's going to be it for this video. So this was a very short one. But if you made it this far, then I still thank you for watching and for hanging out. Stopping by and uh, all of that jazz. And I hope you saw something interesting here. And I'll see you next time. Bye.